Where is the techno optimism? I've been recently listening to a book called The Conservative Futurist by James Petalhakis, my fellow Greek. And I've been listening to some really interesting things about where things sort of changed on the techno optimism front. Now I'm a techno optimist. I believe that technology can be used to improve humanity, improve the lot of humanity. And he, the, I was listening to this book and it's only early on in the book. So I'm going to talk about it a bit more over time as I continue listening through it. But he was mentioning how somebody like Walt Disney, the Walt Disney was a techno optimist, a techno futurist. He had a vision for the future of America, which was amazingly optimistic. And that's one of the things that he wanted to portray in something that was the original vision of Epcot, which is the city of tomorrow. I think it was uh, something, something city of tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure what the acronym was, but he was a techno optimist and we had so much optimism in the 60s and then the 70s came along and then just slammed them down. We went from complete optimism, things like Star Trek, things like, you know, there was so much to optimism in the 60s that suddenly got slammed down in the 70s. And then we've gone through sl so much slow growth over the last little while because, and I think this is because of our overly pessimistic view of technology. Because once the 70s came along and we've had, we had some negative, some had some downturns, there was an immediate jump on how horrible technology was and how technology was going to ruin all of our lives. And there's this overlying deceleration mode that a lot of people were driven into thinking that technology was a bad thing. And come to think of it, has there been any positive utopian visions utopian visions of science, science fiction utopian visions. I mean, I know there's some of it in writing. Like, for example, the culture series, uh, Ian and Banks culture series. I know there is in writing, but is there any popular science fiction any longer that is not a dystopian view? I mean, I think it was on X the other day and somebody asked us, like, can we, can you give me a list of AI movies? And we were looking at the list of AI movies and almost all of them, I think maybe all of them, were very dystopian. And I thought to myself, why are we so one-sided when it comes to technology? Why are we so dystopian and pessimistic when it comes to technology? Why do we think that technology will always go wrong? Is it because we're too infected by the negative vibe of negative media? No, it's our own doing. We have to make the decision to be positive about technology. We have to look at technology in a positive way. Technology is neutral. It is simply a tool and it can be used in a negative way. It can be used in a positive way. It's just like saws and hammers and all sorts of tools that are out there. All of these tools can be used to kill people or they can be used to build things. And that's what we've done with technology. A lot of us Probably none of you who are listening to the show, you're probably all techno optimists, right? You all, all think that technology is going to save us. Everyone who listens to the show is probably a techno optimist. If you're not a techno optimist, I'd love to hear your opinion. Why do you think technology is so bad? Why do you think technology... It's not. It's not inherently bad. It is the way we use it. It is a tool. It is completely neutral. If we decide to use it for evil, it will be used for evil. If we decide to use it for good, it will be used for good. We have to make the decision. We have the moral imperative. We are the ones who have to say we will use the technology for good. We will use the technology to uplift humanity, to unite humanity, not to divide humanity, which is what a lot of people are doing. They're using it to divide humanity. They're using technology to say, how can we break people into smaller and smaller tribes and hammer them so that they can fight amongst each other. We need to use technology to unite us, not divide us. We need to use technology to uplift us, not destroy us. We are the ones who need to do this. We need to see more optimistic optimism in technology entertainment. We need to see AI that helps us, doesn't hurt us. We need to be an optimistic about the future 
of AI. We need to be optimistic about the future of technology. We need to look at technology and say this is a tool that we can use to improve humanity. We are the ones who have to make that decision. I mean, you might be out there right now using it in a negative way. And if you're using it in a negative way, maybe you should ask yourself, should I be using the technology in the way that I'm using it? Or should I be using this in a way to improve and uplift humanity? It's your decision. If you're using the technology in a negative way, it's your decision to do it that way. It's simply a tool. It can be used for good or evil, and we have to choose to use it for good. And not only choose to use it for good, we have to envision good uses of it. Because, like I've said before, envisioning the future, envisioning how good technology will be, may not allow us to build a technology today to envision a good future. But at some point in the future, someone might look back at the things that we've envisioned and go, yes, I want to build that. And instead of envisioning negative outcomes, let's envision positive outcomes, kind of like the original Star Trek series, which envisioned positive outcomes of technology. And those positive outcomes of technology drove a lot of people into tech and drove a lot of people to create things from that technology that improved the lot of humanity as a whole. So we have to make the decision to be good, to use technology for good. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Mm -hmm.